Welcome everyone, it's Matt along with Choco, and today we're going to go over Summoner Yuna let along with uh, Titus and Waka, so stay tuned. Let's go over Summoner Yuna. She is a premium unit, which means uh, she is more expensive to guarantee get. Uh, the current summon is up to 20 times. It requires five laps in order to get the guarantee. So let's go through her. What makes her premium? Why is uh, she quote unquote considered worth it? And is she worth it for you? Uh, first, uh, let's go with the TMR materia. Uh, it's going to have uh, increased evoke damage and increased chain modifier for a normal chain time saw with 100%. So this is actually a really nice TMR. Uh, probably only need one or two of them, but it's very useful for summoners. Her STMR is an accessory that is all over uh, the place that has uh, 55 attack, 55 magic, and 60 spirit. This is kind of the main thing from her uh, that also increases limit burst damage. This STMR by 50% is absolutely huge. It enables uh, people to really mix and match to uh, ensure that the power levels there. Uh, all in all, this every time you get Yuna, you should try and get this STMR because you are going to be using it an awful lot. Not quite as much as Tifa's. Uh, for like the physical attackers, but you will use this an awful lot. Um, it also increases static attack 50 and spirit 50 for FF2 units only. Um, and has an active uh, uh, modifier as well with it as well. It's very, very powerful overall. Uh, this makes it incredibly strong for Yuna, for Auron, and also uh, for Riku if you want to use Riku. As well uh and the uh evoke damage is just great for her as well uh the vision card is uh just level three so it's always going to be 125 spirit gives 80 percent spirit physical and magic damage against fairies and increases spirit for 500 which is incredibly useful for uh yuna so let's go ahead and uh, so her brave shift. She's not a true brave shift. Uh, her duration's four turns. Cooldown's four. Then it requires five turns beyond that, but you can use it turn one. So you do have to use it very correctly, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, all in all, her kit's really, really small. From uh, basics here, uh, her NV3 is decreased staff resistance by 30%, which is unique uh, and useful. Uh, she can uh, cast two types, white magic, green magic, and the blessing of prayer. And her other skill is she can mitigate uh, damage against aquatics and fairies three turns always for both physical and magical. It doesn't take any MP, but it does take five evocation. Uh, so... Along with the NV skill 3 here, she gets an NV3 of 500 spirit and also 2 here for the autocast start the battle, which is uh, going to give her um, some of uh, her limit burst gauge. Sorry. Uh, preemptive Phantom Beast recovery is just 5 of the evoke. She hates Reapers at 200%. Uh, she can increase spirit and MP and uh, also 200% single wield with or without a shield. Um, and so, you know, you'll use her, you can use her either or depending on how you set it up. But with the staff, you're going to be able to get up to 400% if you have all the T STMRs. Uh, she can regen every turn. And along with that, she can evoke any Esper there. 
Uh, and when she invokes Ifrit Shiva, she increases fire and ice resistance. And the main thing here is with invoking Anima, that she will increase darkness physical and magic damage by 30%. So this the this area of effect is the main thing about her. Remember that we just got a unit with twenty five percent, so she is slightly increasing overall. Um, and if she has her STMR or TMR equipped, she gains another five hundred spirit. Very nice feeling at the end of the turn, which invokes invocation by three. Summon regen is one, so that's four every turn. Uh, and uh, her normal is uh, SPR scaling, which she gets in spades. Uh, she is going to be our highest spirit unit. Um, as long as uh, the calculations are correct, she will be our highest one. She has a lot of uh, spells that she can cast, which kind of mitigates some of the skills, but remember, she can only dual cast these. Uh, she has Barwadaga. She can stop disease cure every, uh with the sunica she has a nice cure spell uh, and bar is a god bar uh blizzard thunder and fire uh the main thing here is uh her limit burst is increased physical and magic damage against reaper for 160 percent to all allies and uh increased modify 30x to all allies for evoke damage for limit burst only. Uh, example would be Terra or any evokers like that. And then she has light magic damage at 170x for spirit to all enemies. This is not really a form you're going to use all that much other than for Reapers to give to all allies. At, and if you upgrade her at 60, she'll use that. But all in all, it's not a very useful one. But going to her Brave Shift... We still have the same here with the staff resistance. Uh, she's got the same here as well. She could triple cast. She has evoke damage. So it is going to be spirit instead of magic, which is what most units uh, are. Is generally magic. You're going to focus spirit on her. Uh, she, this will do a lot of damage. Uh, it does cost one summon, but that's not really all that bad. Uh, it's just you can't use it very often without recharging it with the Bolting Strike, which is very useful. And there's one use for uh, Battle here. It gives her 30% more uh, magic damage and physical damage for Light, along with Spirit and Limit Burst damage as well. Uh, and gives her another 60. So basically treat this as uh, similar to what uh, Sephiroth has, except for Light. And on top of it, it does uh, actually uh, give her uh, the spirit that she's looking for and limit burst gauge. But this 280 is not as high as I'd really like it to be. All right. Uh, otherwise, there's not really much of a difference here. She gets a spirit increase of HP 100% here. Um, she has magic and spirit here, which... Um, okay uh, but as I say here uh, almost everything that she does is spirit based so I don't know why they're giving her magic whatever um, and it is a pretty simple kit overall but let's go to her limit burst gives a very huge light evoke damage at 90x hit to one enemy this is going to be the major light skill. She works incredibly well with um, Aerith in this regards uh, as a light evoke uh, mega damage a single hit. Uh, and she can also be a huge uh, hit with uh, Sephiroth with her uh, premium skill in her normal form only, uh, which is going to be right here. So. Uh, basically, she has two major goals. She is a huge LP finisher, aka similar to Terra. Um, and she can also give you Dark Field. Uh, the only thing is, is for her, she can increase her light magic damage. Uh, she can also evoke. 
but if I remember correctly, oh, she uh, she does not have the ability to increase her uh, to do a light field evoke, which is her uh, one main weakness here. But otherwise, uh, she is a very, very good finisher. Most people use her to help out with Sephiroth. Um, and all in all, uh, is a premium unit in that regards specifically for STMR. Remember, her card is only available when you get her to EX3. It is very limited to the Final Fantasy X units. So... All in all, I'm not a huge, huge fan of her, but uh, all in all, uh, I will do some pulls for her overall, and let's see what we can do. All right, now let's move over to Titus. Titus here. Welcome back to Titus. We're just going to go through. Um, overall, nothing has really changed a great deal here other than uh, his STMR Ultimate Weapon FF10 can be increased to 190 attack, uh, which does give it a little bit more oomph to it as well. But let's just go for the Neo Vision here. So it's two skills that uh, get increased here for the innate abilities. Um, is increased water and light physical damage, 30% for four turns to caster, along with uh, increased attack and LB damage, and gives a nice bolting strike as well. Damage here, which is 72x, which is actually pretty powerful overall. Um... The Neo Visions here, he gets an increase in Chain Modifier Cat 100x when you get him to EX2, and get, uh, EX3 gives him a 1,000 attack. Um, and at a 120 Neo Vision, he gets a lot more um, physical and magic damage against fairies and beasts, along with a nice increase in attack 200%, and Defense Spirit HP MP 60 with LP damage 150 uh, and can increase his uh, attack 200% single wield with another 100% cap. So he gets full cap with true double hand by himself if you get him to EX2. Um, and also he gets a nice uh, attack to show that he shows he's the best, which is uh, just uh, increases uh, four times combat damage which is actually a pretty good skill overall it's a single hit though uh, but it does add up at the end to 96x which is actually pretty impressive overall um and what he turns into a super limit burst unit uh basically what you're going to be doing here is uh beforehand he gets a physical damage 40x with ignore defense 50 percent and gives two turns to uh, four turns to Skiller here with the physical training and Blitzball Spirits. So let's go up here. Um, actually, I don't know where that is. So here uh, gives him increased limit burst damage 200%. And limit burst gauge is increased and gives a reflush here. But uh, the main thing here that you're going to look for is his super limit burst, which it is a little frustrating that he's a super limit burst character, but uh, he is free. He does do a very nice uh, water and light resistance to 135% for one turn. Uh, defense 80% along with physical damage against Beast and Fairy 150% and maximum level 120x with defense 50% to all enemies. This is 240x, which is a pretty powerful attack overall. And remember, he has the ability, if you can get that uh, through there, where he 
can increase his limit burst damage by 200% by doing the uh, first damage here and then doing it again over there. All in all, very powerful unit for being a uh, Neovision and um, has its uses still in JP, but I would state that most people are probably only going to use him for damage, especially in water and light, along with his STMR, which is his ultimate weapon, which does get increased. Uh, I won't go over Waka. He does turn to seven stars. It does become a little bit more useful, but all in all, from a banner standpoint, it's a good banner but uh, it is a premium banner. So if you want to guarantee the unit, you do need to spend a lot more for your lap. So be careful. I hope you guys enjoy. Do a good work. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.